Greetings friend, I am Hellswake and this is a short little guide to show you how to install Plugi for Diablo 2 on a fresh install. We will not be installing any other mods, there is no D2SE in this installation, it's just Diablo 2 and the Plugi mod, and that's it. All of the detailed instructions for this guide can be found in the description along with their respective timestamps so you can jump to any specific step and I've also included links to the necessary files for this guide. Okay now let's begin. So to do a clean install we need to make sure that there are no other installations of Diablo 2 currently on our system. So I'm going to have to go to settings. From the start menu, apps, search for Diablo, and uninstall. Once that's done, I should go ahead and check to make sure that the folder that I want to install it into was deleted. It's not here, so we're good. Now for the second step, we're going to need to get our files. I already have my files here. But first of all, you're going to need a Diablo 2 installer that is compatible with the Plugi version that we're trying to use. The latest Plugi version works with Diablo 2 1.13D. So if you can get your hands on a 1.13 installer, that will work. If you need an older installer, I have provided a 1.12A installer, which you can find a link in the description below. The reason for this is because the current installers that are available on the Battle.net official website are for Diablo 2 version 1.14 only, and they won't work with Plugi. To get the Plugi installer and the Lord of Destruction patch that's required, you can just go to the Plugi website, link is in the description, scroll to the bottom and you'll find the latest Plugi installer here. And I'm going to be using the zipped version of the patch, 1.13D, here. Because 1.13D is the Diablo 2 version which is compatible with the latest version of Plugi. Alright, so now we're going to just run our installer for Diablo 2. Go through this, enter our CD key, and select the location which we wish to install the game to. and do the same for Lord of Destruction. All right, once Diablo 2 is installed, we don't really need the shortcut anymore. Now we're going to need to patch the game. I have the unzipped LOD patch for 113D right here. I'm just going to copy these and go to my Diablo 2 installation, paste them and replace all the files. And now the game should be patched to 1.13D. And now we can go ahead and install Plugi, which is as simple as running the installer. Going through it, it, make sure it detects the proper installation it should by default. And there you go. And show the README, which has all the information in it for all the commands and all the things. You should probably take a look at this. Also talks about the configuration file and all of that good stuff. Alright, so next on the list is to set our compatibility modes for our files. We're going to need to do this for Diablo2.exe. So we'll go to right click it, go to the properties, compatibility tab, run program, in compatibility mode 4, and select service pack 3, and also check run this program as an administrator. Apply, OK. I think you could just hit OK. We're going to do the same thing for d2vidtest.exe. Service pack 3. Run as admin. OK. And we're going to need to go into mod Plugi folder and do the same thing one last time for Plugi.exe. Service pack 3. Run as admin. All right. And now we're going to want to run d2vidtest.exe. Just hit run test. And it's going to do some stuff to your screen. Just wait this out. 
the purpose of going through these compatibility mode settings and run as admin as well as running this d2vidtest.exe is simply to prevent any possible errors that might prevent your game from running. And I also know that running in Surface Pack 3 compatibility mode will enable the use of uh, extra mouse buttons as hotkeys within the game, which is always nice. Alright, so once that's done, we just select Direct3D and hit OK. And now... We're pretty much done. All we can, all we gotta do now is configure our Plugi by going to the mod Plugi folder, opening the Plugi INI, and for a very basic, I just like to activate windowed mode by doing active windowed equals one, and I like to disable the lock mouse on startup by setting that to zero, save the file, and now we can run Plugi. which you will see we are on the correct version of both Diablo 2 and Plugi. Battle.net is disabled, so we cannot enter Battle.net. And single player. And now we have access to the nice big stash, the shared stash, the world events, the latter only rune words, and all of the other good stuff that comes along with Blue G. All right, this pretty much concludes this little tutorial. So I hope you found it helpful. And uh, stay tuned for more Diablo 2 tips, including how to run multiple installations in Diablo 2 so you can switch between Battle.net, modded single player, and even playing on a private server. Thanks for watching. Bye.